Although one of Ventrembria Wilder's technologies, and one of my favorite sports personalities was Bjorn Borg, the famous Swedish tennis player who won five Wimbledon titles, all straight in a row, and also six straight um, French Open championships. Although he made it to the US Open, I think uh, final three or four times, he never won that one. But he was an incredible uh, uh, um, personality. One of the things that is not known about him that in his younger years, in his youth, yes, he was a protege, he was discovered, and he was an incredible talent, but his, his temper and his mouth was getting him, getting him into all kinds of trouble to the point where he was actually fined and his parents had to pull him aside and basically gave him a choice and said, listen, if you're not willing to uh, control yourself, well, you don't have the right to play the game because, you know, this is something that um, it should be played a certain way and your mouth is getting you into trouble. So he decided to allow his ability to overtake his mouth to the point where he became known as the Ice Borg. That was his nickname because he would make absolutely no comments, win or lose. The only time I ever saw him say anything, and I forget when this was, uh, he actually, well, this was the way he challenged the, a call with an umpire. He went up to him and said, did you see the call? And he would just stand there. And he didn't say anything else. Then he'd say, did you see the call? And then, uh, and then the umpire would say, Mr. Borg, return uh, or I'll fly you. Did you see the call? And I don't know if he got fly or not, but that was, he said it two or three times and he went back and he always played that way. And he would always, you know, he would always play methodical and win or lose, he would just keep going. And, you know, he would only show emotion, just like the picture behind us, when he actually won a championship. So he would go through, even if he lost, you would never see any emotion out of the, out of the gentleman, nothing at all. And I admired that about him. But you know what? That also had its, uh, its effect on him. Sure, he became incredibly self-disciplined, and we can learn from that because he learned to control it. But at the age of 25, when most tennis players are in the prime of their careers, he quit. He had enough. He couldn't, he couldn't continue any further. And that is the downside of not being able to understand your emotions or taking the time to understand them. Now, I don't know whether his team, because even though he played the game, he had other, other people around him, his team tried to reach him, whether he listened or not. We do not know. But what we do know that after his playing career, he, he let go. He, he, went, he went and did what he wanted to do to the point where uh, he got divorced and he married a second person. I divorced that woman as well. And he almost lost all of his, uh, all his finances as well. He was close to being bankrupt as well. But you know what? He came around and he realized that he needed to uh, connect with his emotions and he made some adjustments and now he's doing quite well from what I hear. <laughs> but you know what? That isn't just true of Bjorn Borg or any athlete for that matter, or any uh, individual. It's also true of us. Do we take the time to listen to our emotions, regardless of what we're sensing or feeling or how it makes us feel. Because if we do and we pay attention, there is a lesson there for us as well. But not only us, but about all those around us as well. What about our team members, whether they're employees, contractors, or even people in our lives? Do we take the time to listen and help and you know, offer some encouragement or even just say, you know what, I've been there and I know what it feels like. It's amazing what can happen. And I will, I've experienced it as well when we face those emotions and are, tr are truthful to ourselves about that. And, when, and with those closest around us, we're truthful with them as well. It is such a relieving way to live. And you know what, you can reach incredible highs. And I'm sure that there was some of that done during Bjorn Borg's era. Uh, otherwise, how would, we, how would he have gone on from 18 to 25, seven years, and succeeded if that didn't happen, you know? But what I do know is that it is important for us to, yeah, watch our mouths and you know what, and, uh, and, and also be disciplined, but at the same time, listen to our emotions and see what they're telling us. And I also uh, want you to enjoy the last minute of the, his last Wimbledon final, which is the 1980 Wimbledon final against John McEnroe. Enjoy that. And if you have any questions, I look forward to hearing from you and God bless and ciao for now.